Okay, most of you know me. I'm sorry, my manners. Good evening, YouTubers. Most of you know me from Team Mom and Son. Okay, and when I say Team Mom and Son, that's just what it is because it's a mother facing medical issues along with her son, and it's just us two to take care of one another. But neither me nor him are giving up. Um, we both still have a lot of diagnostic testing to do. Um, but you know, I, there was a situation on Facebook where grown women, including myself, um, got off into some petty, petty mess with ugly, ugly name calling, cursing, acting like a fool. And, and there was no reason for that. There was just no sense in it, even on my part. And I own that. Um, you know, I, I, I can't say ignorance because my pastor tells me all the time that when you're trying to do better and you're trying to move yourself up, the devil's coming. I, he, he will use anything. He will use Facebook. He will use ex-friends. He will use whatever he can. Your, your kids, your dog, your cat, whatever he can to set you off and make you act a fool. But we have to stop that. We give him that power to do that. We have to take it back. This is going to cover a whole lot of subjects, and I really hope give a whole lot of people to think about it. And, I mean, as far as, like, opinions of me, I don't really even care anymore because with some of that smack that was wrote down, I was called everything from nigger lover to white trash to this to that to the other. But... What wasn't mentioned was the days that when, before I had a bone spur in my back and a fractured spine and possibly sick with cancer, that I worked 16 or 20 hours a day. <clears throat> what I would like to do, what I would like to see, it's not much of a dream, but it is my dream. Um, you know, we have... Um, person down here who tries to play a Miss Goody Two Shoes who just scams and steals. I would love to open like a little thrift store. A thrift store that gives at least 10 or 20 percent back to the community every month. Not just Christmas. Not just holidays. Um, you know um, and, and there's 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 lots of ways to make that happen, and and I'm not a woman without a plan. I am planning daily. Um, it, it, there's no need to give up. You just never give up. Um, yeah, I hope I'm not wearing out my welcome. Um, Doing YouTube videos is new to me. And I, it really first started out as like a experiment. Because when you put like a lot of the wrong people in your life. They can make you feel so ugly. And like your self esteem would be so low. And like just a piece of dirt. Um, low. I don't even know the words to describe it. Just bottom of the bucket septic tank low um I still have the GoFundMe set up it is under Marilyn Phillips um it is for medical I but I am not giving up on my dream and a, a cute little thrift store would be good here one that is set up nice not like a yard sale to where you have to go and you know, dig through the stuff, something that is set up nice, um, to honestly give back to the community, to not scam, to not take money and spend it on myself or my children other than what is, oh, what's over the 10% that I make every month that would be, you know, for the use of, you know, helping someone pay a power bill. If their power was about to be cut off. Um, 
I've always loved to help people. Um, it, it feels good. And it, it truly is rewarding. Sometimes when you're going through your own struggles, like I am now, it, it is truly rewarding to step up and help someone else. Yes, I know, ironic, going to the cancer center tomorrow for cancer scans and uh, smoking a cigarette. Um, I don't know. The devil is always busy. My vapor cigarettes got broken. And um, it, it's a stronghold. It's a stronghold. So, if anybody watches this and they do give two cents, just please help, you know, pray for me. Pray. <laughs> we all need we all need to be a praying nation anyway. Um I ain't nothing special. I'm a little small town country girl who has like made my share of mistakes, been there, done that type of girl, and now I want to um turn it around. And it any it can be turned around. Anything can be turned around. I don't care where you're sitting at now. If you're if you're sitting there with a pistol to your head, don't do it. If you're sitting there with a bottle of pills, don't do it. Reach out. Call somebody. Reach out to me on Facebook. Um, I'll find you a number. I'll find you some help. Because it's not just about you. It really isn't. Um, there's been times, if it hadn't been for my 13-year-old son being sick... I probably would have, but that would be so selfish. Um, he needs me, and I need him, and we need each other to get through this. So, to anybody out there that's going through something, whether it's health, financial, whatever, just look for resources. But your first resource is to get down on your knees. Get down on your knees. Get down on your knees and pray. You know, I can't really sit here and quote a lot of biblical scriptures because I don't read like I should. But, <clears throat> His grace is sufficient. And He will strengthen us. And we, we can do all things. All things. Through Christ who strengthens us. And it's in Corinthians. Um... I have had chest surgery, double mastectomy. I've had my neck cut on twice, possibly about to be cut on again. Back once and possibly back surgery again. Um, so you just, you just got to keep going. And my son has been diagnosed with short stature, which can cause a host of health problems. Um... And this has, it, it's, a, it's amazing. Um, you can be sitting on cloud nine one minute, making your bills and paying things and getting by. And something like this happens, and you are down to nothing. And when I say nothing, I mean nothing. Not a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of because you're scraping change to pay for medicine. Or you're running around to this church or that church and to beg for a box of food or to beg to get your power bill paid and that is one reason I would love to do something like a little thrift shop with real nice hand-me-down clothes hand-me-down items nice stuff not junk um and to to put something good in this community because DHR don't do anything they send you elsewhere um they tell you to ask your doctor. Um, the doctor will tell you to ask your churches. Um, and it, it's just a circle. And when you need so much and you have found yourself in, in a crap hole, I guess, so to speak, you don't have gas in your car to be running around and asking for this and asking for that. You just don't. Um, so... I'm just going to leave y'all with one other thought. This is, this, this is my back porch. This is the time I spend with that little bride over there. Y'all know in the morning I have to like make him a cup of coffee. 
well, not a cup, but like a bowl. Because <clears throat> this is like my little solitude. My hell, he's so black you can't even see him. I don't think you can. Nope. Can you see? I don't want you pepper stay over there. But anyway, I have to like make him a little bowl of coffee and I have to like put his cream and sugar in it. Or he will not let me have my coffee in peace. He is just a hot mess. Um <clears throat> But as far, you know, as like Facebook, I am totally ashamed of how I let my strings get pulled because I know I'm better than that. Um the devil will always try to pull you down. If somebody's writing crap about you, let them, let them keep writing. It's their ignorance, not yours. It is their stupidity. And I know we all say that, but we, we have our flesh and we get pissed. We get pissed and we get on that keyboard and we get busy. But um, <clears throat> our kids are watching that. And we can't live by double standards until our kids don't do no crap like that. And then they stroll through your timeline and they're seeing words like MF and B and I'll kick your AWS and, you know, and we tell them not to do that. Um, you know, but that, that's something I thank God I'm aware of and I can repent because <coughs> he is a forgiving God. Um, but when you accept a Facebook request... Um, just be careful. Make sure it's someone that you know. If it's someone you want to accept, I mean, but not sure, checkmate.com, backgroundcheck.com, because you never know what kind of psycho is on the other end of the keyboard. You, you truly, 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 <laughs> you just never know. Um, but with, with that being said... Um, choo, there was one more thing. There was one more thing. I'm always forgetting things. But just, um, you know, be, be careful who you make friends with on Facebook. Facebook can be a very wonderful, very positive thing. Um, it's sad that it seems to be that that's the way families keep in touch with each other, you know, with, you know, keeping up with each other's medical issues and family picnics and all that and posting pics. And, and that's the way that, like, families keep up with each other. It's sad. Families just don't seem to get together like they used to. But, um, be careful who you be friends with. Um, and th this journey, like I said, will be ongoing for a few months. And, um, the medical in the copays and the gas it is insane um with that being said like anything anybody may choose to help with um after all this is over if there is anything left i will be going back i'll probably do a live feed on facebook and see like if y'all would like me to try to start that um thrift shop because I, I truly, I have been so blessed in my life when I have been down. Um, I, I have had friends here and there, some true friends, and I can count them on one hand, that have truly come through for me. But I see so many people out here with sicknesses, like, you know, Lyme disease, heart disease, cancer, and this and that and the other. And I think it would just be a way to give back to the community. Um, and that, that's, that is just a silly little country girl's thoughts on it. Um, but anyway, this is Marilyn Phillips signing out. Um, team Mom and Son on Facebook. Um, and I guess if you choose... I will see you there. All right, you guys have a wonderful night until we meet again.